on guys, Karma Kicks here, and I'm bringing you another episode on Karma Craft 3.0. And today we have some work to do. So I've got some more veggie strips. I've been working on this garden like last time. Um, I've been gathering up lots of vegetables and trying to get uh, mustard seeds because that's what I need to make the um, veggie strips, which doesn't look like I have any here. So I've just been going through and I keep harvesting uh, what I can and I've made 10 veggie strips right now. We've got food. So we're living on veggie strips at the moment and I've got a ton of stuff up in here too. So what we really need though is sugar cane. Um, I know I found a little bit last time. Oh, there's some over there. Um, I went like searching around and tried to find some sugar cane, but we need to get some sugar cane because we want to make paper today. And I know that sounds really weird. We want paper for what? But somebody sent me a recipe for a pickaxe that just sounds like it would be absolutely awesome to make. I'm going to get some berries while I'm over here. Um, so I need lots of paper for it though. And at the moment, I don't have a lot of sugar cane. It doesn't look like there's really any around here at all. Yeah, this is terrible. There's no sugar cane for miles. So, another thing we need to do is, um, well, I did some mining off camera so that we can get some better tools. I broke my iron pickaxe. Um, and I also got something that I want to show you. Let me get back over to the house. Um, oh, picking up eggs along the way. No, thank you. <laughs> um, I do want the chicken, like the manure that they drop because then I can fertilize my garden. <laughs> so it's kind of works like bone meal. It's nice. Um, I got, oh, not in that chest, this chest. I got some diamonds. I was able to find four diamonds while we were down mining, so very, very cool. Um, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to use them for. Um, I've got some ideas. I think there was a recipe that I need them for. I was actually searching up. Um, I wanted to make an Alumite pickaxe because I made that in the last Karma Craft, and it was a super OP pickaxe, and yeah, I've got lots of iron in here. Uh, and this is all the ores and stuff that I found. I found redstone and everything like that. But you can't get Alumite in this pack anymore because we're in 1.12.2. And in that update of Tinkers, there's no more Alumite. So we're just out of luck. <laughs> We've got to use what we can. And so somebody sent me a, a, a message saying this is a great way to make a pickaxe, try it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Another thing I wanted to see was this. Oh, you can use these. So I, I figured out how to see what, how to use these, um, these rocks and you can make a saw. What does the saw do? Is that for like cutting wood? Okay, that we have to try. What was the recipe for that again? That's super cheap. So let's get rocks and sticks. And I think it was like, um, I'm never gonna remember. <laughs> let's look at it again. Okay, it was there and there and there. I make a saw. Now what do we, what do you do with a saw? Do you? craft things with it? No? Um, is it just used for cutting things? I'm so confused. You can put all kinds of things on it. Alright, I don't know what exactly it's used for. Um, so we'll definitely have to look into that. And it is nighttime, so it's time to sleep. We have a saw. Yay. I'm not sure why that's a thing, but okay. And then let's see, what else can we use these rocks for? Uh, let's see, a bookshelf, a shelf, a chisel, a furnace. That's weird. Um, and this is all immersive craft, so we'll have to check these things out. Chest. 
that looks really cool. And I think somebody said that this right here, you can actually see items in it. So let's try that one. Put oh, a rock right in the middle. No, is that not how it went? Um, does it have to be oak? Yeah, I think so. Um, do I have any oak? I have a little bit of oak. Let's try this. And surround it by oak. And put a rock in the middle. There we go. Alright, so what does this do? Oh, that is cool looking. How do you put... Oh, wow. Oh, that is cool. So you can actually put stuff inside of there and see it. We're going to put our saw in there. That is so cool. And you can actually see what's inside of there. Can you put like multiple stuff in there? You can. And then just grab it out. Oh, that is really cool. So I think we might just keep our tools in here. I don't know how much stuff we can put in here. But let's keep our tool, like our old tools and stuff. Go. And it'd be like a display case for him, I guess. There. Nice. That is so cute. I like that. That is a really neat looking chest. All right, so that's enough playing around with that. We want to build chests today, but not that kind of chest. We need a lot of wood for this. What did I just do? Oh, there it is. Okay. Nope. Hello, wood, get in my inventory. Thank you. All right, so what I need is this colossal chest walls. Um, I'm going to need more wood. <laughs> yep, time to go gather some more wood. Okay, so I've got some more wood. Not much, though. We might need more. Um, but let's go ahead and make these. Okay, you get two with each, so that's good. Um, let's do that again. Oh, I just did not just do that. Yep, I did. I just accidentally put all of our wood into chests. That's lovely. Oh, I have some wood here. Um, let's try this. Uh, nope. And that looks like that's all of our wood. Okay. So what I want to do is make a colossal chest. And we're going to make it like right here. Because we're going to use it for our ore processing. Um, I want to uh, be able to mine and stuff just come back here. And it'll be right here ready for us. So we're going to dig a little hole here. Oh, I need a pickaxe, don't I? Um, give me that one. There we go. It's going to be slow mining. We're going to dig out a little 3x3 three three hole here, and we're going to put in a Colossal Chest. Now, Colossal Chest is a mod in this mod pack that makes these absolutely ginormous chests. And so I thought I, I don't want a big one to start off with. I just want a little one first. So we're going to put this like this. And actually, I think we need to leave this corner open and I'm going to open it up like this so I can access it and then we want to build up a there we go uh, like this and like that and then I need something else what do I need right here a colossal chest core and for that I need a piece of iron which I saved go and we put the core I think we can actually put the core on the top actually let's try that let's put the core right here um, we need back up here there we go all right can we put the core on top we can that is perfect and look at that it's huge that is so awesome so now we can put lots and lots of stuff into here 
And I'm going to start by putting all of our ores and everything in here. And then I want to test it out. We need a pickaxe first, though. Um, let's see. It's all our ores. This will just keep us a little more organized and stuff. Um, let's just uh, head over here. Maybe we can dig out some coal or something. And, oh. Helps if I actually click the chest. So I know there's a way to do this. I think it's like, nope. Um, I think I actually have to have a tinker's tool to do this. But I don't. Um, I know there's a way to connect the um, tool to the chest, but I don't remember how to do that. So we're going to have to figure that out. But now we have ore storage, so we can get rid of this chest here. There we go. And that's perfect. I love it. A nice big chest. And we're going to do more with these colossal chests because you can do like gigantic ones. And that would be so much easier than just putting chests everywhere filled with stuff. And we also have bibliocraft in this, which gives us shelves and things like that. And I think that would be a lot of fun to use as well. Because things like this, I love being able to see everything. And it's just right where I need it. And I can just close up. That is really, really cute. So I want to do a lot more with that kind of stuff. Let's go see if our sugar cane has grown at all. It doesn't look like it has. So I'm going to be waiting for sugar cane to grow. And I will be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got 12 paper. I still don't think that's going to be enough. But I also found these wooden crates at a village that's right across there. And I haven't really looked in them. Tough fabric. I've got iron. Nice. Um, steel, mechanical. Okay, this is all immersive engineering stuff that I have not a clue what this is yet. Um, treated sticks. Coal coke. A steel axe. Wait, a steel axe? Is that good? Maybe. And an engineer's blueprint. So we're going to put all this stuff, all the immersive engineering stuff up in there. I think I'm going to put the axe in there, too. And then these can be used like shulker boxes, right? You can put stuff in them and then carry them around. And that's really super cool because we don't have anything like that right now. So definitely need that. Um, let's see. A bunch more stuff. We've got some copper ingots, which I think will stick up in there. And put all this up in there. Yeah. And a steel shovel. Nice. All right. Why is that not going down? There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we've got some more storage stuff. So I'm going to put this one right here. And then these other two we can just set over here for right now. So we actually have um, pretty much shulker boxes. Actually, I think I might just keep them on me. And that way when I'm out exploring, um, I can gather up some stuff. There is a slime island that's floating over that way and I really really want slime boots because I love to bounce and so we definitely need to go get some slime boots so I think we might do that here in a little bit but let's try and make this pickaxe um let's see I need not you I, I did not eat I did not need that yep, shut that okay I need this chest um we're gonna need these things and I want to make a paper pickaxe head. Um, and then this. Oh, no, I don't have enough paper. No, I need paper for the tool rod. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, that sugar cane's going to take a while. So the other thing we're going to need is obsidian. So um, let's go get some obsidian. Now, I do have diamonds, so we can make a diamond pickaxe, and we can use that to get obsidian. There we go. And we have vein miner, so it should be really, really easy to get. Hopefully, we don't break this pickaxe, because it's the only one I have. 
Um, but we definitely need a lot of obsidian. So I'm thinking if we just go down my mine over here and put some water down, we'll get lots of obsidian and we can just vein mine it, which would be really, really cool. So let's go down. You can see I've been mining out just a little bit here. Um, <laughs> down to I think level 11 yeah it's at level 11 um, but I've got this huge pocket of upset or lava here so we're gonna kind of mine this out oh this is perfect there's like a like a lake underneath here that's absolutely what we need right now so let's just go through here we're gonna need a lot of obsidian so I'm just going to mine away all of this and start putting down water. Uh, it got really dark and I do have torches on me, so that's good. All right. Just kind of spam torches all over the place because we don't want anything spawning on us. What is that up there? What is that? Uranium ore. Oh, oh, there's more than one. There's three uranium ore. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. Okay, so we're going to vein mine some obsidian here, and hopefully it doesn't fall into the lava below it. Did we get it? We got 23. Okay. That's not bad. We, I think we need more than that, though. Um, let's go ahead and put water all through here. And then I think what we're going to do is go, yeah, over here. There we go. And we'll stand here and do it. Mine this out real quick. I love Vein Miner. That is probably my favorite mod of all the mods just because I can sit here and mine something really super quickly. Um, now we've got 47. Now that might be enough. I don't know if we'll need more. If we do, we can always come back down here and get more. So let's head back up. Oh, and it's nighttime. Oh no, and I forgot to bring my bed with me. So it's gonna be super scary outside. Um, now this is getting like really annoying the what are you looking at so I think I might disable that mod um, from now on because it's kind of every time I move around and look at something it uh, it's really really annoying um, I mean it's super helpful when you don't know what things are but it's really annoying when you're just wandering around and everything you look at shine like lights up and says okay it's this um, so I'm not really sure about that mod uh, let me know what you guys think about that one. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, if that's annoying for you, if you think it should be removed from the mod or mod pack, or if you think it's super helpful. All right, um, we still need more paper, and it looks like our paper hasn't grown at all whatsoever. So I'm going to sit here and, uh, oh, let's see what this, uh, what is this used for? An engineer's hammer breaks it down to uranium grit. Um, okay. You put it in a crusher and get lead grit. Um, you can get slag from it. I don't know what any of these things are used for. Oh, it can be molten uranium. You could smelt it. Interesting. But I don't know what it's used for. Hmm. Interesting. All right. There's no, like, creepers around going to blow me up, is there? My house is not exactly safe. All right, so I'm going to do some gardening, wait for sugar cane to grow, and I will be back in just a second. Okay, I'm still waiting for sugar cane to grow because that's just not happening. Um, but I am running out of food. I've done a lot more mining, and I've run into a problem. So one of the things we need for this pickaxe we're going to make is these blank casts. And you need gold to make them or aluminum brass. And I don't have any aluminum or gold. And I can only make one. And that's it. So we're going to have to wait on that until we can get some aluminum 
or some uh, gold. And I've tried mining a whole bunch and I'm just not finding any at all. So I think we're gonna wait on that. But I was looking at recipes here and I saw one that looked easy enough, but we need a cutting board. And I think, let me see if I can get this right. We need this, this, and a brick, which we have a brick. All right, so it's like this, this, and this. And there we go, we have a cutting board. All right, and it was under the squash. Um, it was lettuce and winter squash. Now, I think it's not summertime anymore because a lot of my crops are not growing right now. And I think that's because they only grow in the summertime. Like, the winter squash is growing, but my mustard seeds are stuck. And when I tried to bone meal them, um, they're not bone mealing. So I think it's winter time, and that's why we're not able to grow anything right now. Um, I'm not really sure how that works. But let's get, we've got lots of winter squash. Uh, do we have any lettuce left? Huh, I don't think we have any lettuce. Well, we're not gonna be able to use that one then. I I swore I had lettuce left over, but I guess I don't. Um, so what else can we make with this cutting board? Oh, 83 recipes, lovely. So I think I'm gonna keep looking here and see if I can find a recipe that we can make because I still need food. This seems like a really complicated one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, but we can make dough. Oh, how did I, hmm. All right, let's, uh, was it called a mortal and pestle, mortar and pestle? It has to be chiseled stone. How do you make chiseled stone? I'm guessing we need actual stone. So we'll fire that up. There are so many recipes using Pam's Harvest Craft, and it's just, yeah, <laughs> very difficult. I do have two pieces of paper in here. We can try, um, let's see, what was it we were needing? We've got that, we've got that. We need the tool rod. Let's see. 0.5 paper. So I only need like one more piece of paper. Um, we might just go ahead and break these and then leave those three to grow. That'll give us enough paper. Um, there we go. Paper. Oh, I still need more. Huh, it says 1.25 paper. I don't know what that means. I still need more. So we still gotta wait for that to grow. All right, let's see if our stone's done. Can we make um, chiseled bricks? How do you make chiseled bricks? I think it's like this. Look at me knowing how to Minecraft. Okay. Chiseled bricks. This, no. Is it using an actual chisel? Stone slap, wait, what? Okay, we need a chisel. How do we make a chisel? All of this is just so many like recipes we have to actually go through. This is ridiculous. All right, we need iron. We have one iron ingot. And I had a stick. What happened to my stick? Oh, I placed it down. That's great, and it's nighttime. So many things. All right, let's try this again. Put this up here, this up here. Get the chisel, okay. So we need chisel. Um, 
we'll just uh, chiseled stone. Okay, and a stick. And we'll put this up here. There we go, a mortar and pestle. All right, now I wanna make dough. How do I make dough? Let's see, dough is using wheat, wheat, okay. We have barley and we have wheat, so it should be okay. Um, we just put this up here and this like that and we get flour. All right, and now we need salt, um, which we know how to get because we just use our bucket, which I found a really cheaty way to do this, but you get eight buckets of fresh water from one bucket, and then you just put that with the salt, and it'll give you eight pieces of salt, so kind of a cheaty way to do it. All right, we need a mixing bowl, and we need some more water, which we have unlimited water. <laughs> um, let's grab some from right there. So let's see what we can do with this. We need a mixing bowl. I've got too much stuff in my inventory now. All right, we'll get this. Um, we need water, a mixing bowl, salt, and flour. And that makes dough. So we got six pieces of dough. All right, let me see if I can find the <laughs> recipe again that I was looking at. Um, no, no, I don't want, okay, there. Um, I believe it's under here, pizza. That's what we want to make, but we don't have tomatoes or anything. What can we use dough for then? We can make bread. We can make zucchini bread. Do we have zucchini? We don't. We have cucumbers. Thought we might have zucchini. Um, we can make zeppel. What is zeppel? But it requires cinnamon and cooking oil. We don't have those. Um, wonton soup. Uh, raisin bread. We don't have raisins. Can we make anything? <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I thought this would be an easy thing to do. Strawberries and rhubarbs. I think we do have strawberries and rhubarbs. Or maybe not. We have strawberries. And those are chili peppers. Not rhubarbs. Okay, I'm going to sit here and try and find a recipe that we can actually do with this. Oh. Huh. There are a lot of cows around. Okay, let's look at that one one more time. Where did that even go? Pretzel butter. Okay. All we need is heavy cream and salt, which should be easy because we have cows around here. So we should be able to get heavy cream pretty easily. Um, I say that and now I have no idea where the cows are. I know there are tons and tons of cows around here. So I'm going to go searching for cows now. Finally, some cows. All right, let's do this. We got your milk. And then... How do we make the cream again? Heavy cream. We mix it in a mixing bowl, okay. So we do it like that. I'm gonna make a little bit here, just so we have it. Um, oh, where'd my bucket go? Oh, I dropped my bucket. Oh, there we go. All right, come back in. I want your milk. There we go. Just a little bit more, please. Thank you. Don't worry, this hurts me more than it hurts you. 
I don't know why I keep moving things around that way. There we go. We'll just get a stack so that way we don't have to come back for a while. There. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Our house is way over there. So I knew there was cows around here somewhere. I just wasn't sure how far away they were. Can we get down here without breaking our nets? We can. Okay, so we've got heavy whipping cream, or heavy cream, and if we can make some more by doing this, but I don't want to make too much yet. How do we make it into butter? Like this, we need a saucepan. Um, <laughs> no room in our inventory. Uh, let's see. Put all this up there. There we go. Okay. We need a stick. And we need a brick. There we go. Stick, brick, saucepan. Got it. Okay. Then we add the cream with something else. Salt. Okay, more salt. Here we go. Grab this. Let's go ahead and get quite a bit. While we're here, there we go. Um, I need to find a way to automate all of this stuff. So that we're not like running back and forth constantly and that way we have some kind of steady food coming in. But I know that's going to be a whole process. Um, okay. Uh, this, this, and this. Makes butter. Okay. So now what do we do with the butter again? <laughs> Where was that recipe? Oh no. That's soda. We don't want that. It was dough and butter, salt, water, and bakeware. And that makes soft pretzels. That's what we want. Okay. So, dough, butter, salt, water. Okay, we need water. Lots of water. And salt. It, it seems like I'm making all the carnival food. <laughs> like... We've had cotton candy, and now we're making uh, soft pretzels. It's all carnival food. <laughs> so weird. All right, so I get lots of water so I don't have to come back down here. There we go. Okay. Oh, and it's becoming nighttime again. I just want to make some pretzels. Okay, let's try this again. Um, we need salt, so let's put that with that. Oh, we had a bunch of salt already. That's okay. Um, water, uh, bakeware. So I think we need bakeware, dough, butter, water, and salt. And that makes soft pretzels. Awesome. We have pretzels now. Ooh, and they give lots of hunger bars. That is so cool. All right, so we discovered another cooking recipe that we can eat. Um, we need to set up some kind of kitchen here. So I think we're going to do that next episode. Set up a kitchen, some place where we can store all of our tools and stuff for cooking. And uh, make it kind of nice. But... I am all out of time for today. I know we didn't get to make our pickaxe, but um, sugar cane won't grow. <laughs> um, I think I might actually just try these last pieces. I'm going to have to go searching for more if I break these, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's try it because I really wanted to do this recipe today and or get this pickaxe done. Uh, let's see. Can we put it in? And we can get it now. Okay, so that's done. We need to actually put it all together, which we do like this. Like 
that and the X and that makes a paper pickaxe and then we have to add this on to it so it's reinforced um, and then the last thing we had to do we needed a flint and some obsidian where's I did not just yeah I put the flint in the chest nope give it back there we go all right shut that that is dangerous <laughs> um oh I have the obsidian on me okay I think I need a cast for this let's see let's get this out um put this back here there we go all right, we need a sharpener. Is that a sharpening? A sharpening kit. That's what we need. Um, we need to make that out of cobble, I believe. And then we put it here. Oh, yeah, we can't cast it because we have no gold. Well, see, it's going to have to wait. So what we're going to do is we're going to sharpen it with obsidian. And I believe that's going to make it completely unbreakable and usable. And it should be at a cobalt level. Um, right now it's only at a stone level. So we definitely need the reinforcements and things like that. We need to make this a lot better. But it's going to be really, really cool when we're done. So, like I said, next time we'll work on some other things, and I will see you then. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button down below, and if you haven't already, then please do subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!